Hello, fellow Tarnished. Welcome back to the playthrough of Elden Ring with Stubbs the Wizard. I'm your host, and we are playing through as a breaker of furniture. Actually, that's, well, I guess that's kind of true. But uh, <clears throat> we're actually playing through as a stealth wizard. He does break furniture from time to time, though. This chair is moving. That's not a chair, it's a lectern. Okay. At any rate, uh, I forgot to up update and level up, so I'm going to go back and do that. The idea behind this wizard, though, is he's a stealth wizard. He cannot use, or he's not allowed, I suppose, to use melee. Not supposed to. And here's the stats. You can see he can only use night spells, and there they are, or invisibility sorceries, as they're also called. There's the stats, and we're going to get Vigor bumped up to about 60, and then figure something else to work on. And uh, in terms of the equipment, we are dual wielding the Staff of Loss. That is because the buffs are multiplicative. So each of these are plus 30%, but when you stack them together, you actually, rather than plus 60%, you get plus 69%. The Xeric Cord is for criticals, which are not melee, because I define them as such. And then uh, just the armor looks cool, and so I stay with that. And uh, there's the talismans. I'm probably going to get rid of this one for now and put in Arrow's Reach Talisman, uh, which increases bows' effective range. You know, I'd say, well, that's weird because you're not using a bow. Well, it also increases the range of some spells like Rock Spleen. Spleen. Oh my gosh, Spleen. <laughs> rock Sling and Ambush Shard, which is what I can use. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put a spell on here. I need, to, I need to get some more, more of the ice spells because my next playthrough in New Game Plus Plus is going to be um, a sort of a carrion uh, guy that uses mostly the ice stuff. Uh, so I'm going to use this. I don't know what its usage is exactly because it makes your weapon invisible. And I can only imagine it be good in new game, or not new game, PvP. Um, and not much besides that. But I haven't been able to cast it. So, for instance, when I see it doesn't, it's, it's blacked out. I don't know why I can't cast it. Because what, one of the powers, one of the great things about the night spells is that um, the enemies don't dodge. They have no idea that they're being shot at. But humans do in PvP, right? So I wonder if that helps in PvP, that spell. Let's see this does. Not very much. I've never seen that before. He just called to his brethren. Alright, let's see. I'm going to try to snipe from here. Boom. That is the good thing about the uh, ambush or the uh, arrows reach tower so you can snipe from a long way away. This guy's just waddling up here, taking his time. So there you go. Where's 
you go. You fell all the way down. I don't know what he's doing. Take him out. Yeah, Amber Shard is almost not fair. Almost. But using only these spells have a limited a limited um, I guess I'm going to shoot him with something else because I can't one shot him. There's an ogre. Ogre killer I guess. But you have a limited amount of uh, spells. It's okay to buff it up and, you know, snipe people. That's part of the stealth. And brother. Um, okay, so there's still a... Still a dude, snake dude, down there somewhere, lurking. Lurking in the shadows. Uh, where are the doggies? There's supposed to be doggies there. I wonder if my night combo will reach that uh, spear, the dung beetle. Oh, it did. I got a summon from the system five. Probably will not have much use for that. There's the omen guy, and I am just wondering where the other dude, the serpent guy, went to. So this is a trap, because if you go up there and try to hit that guy, there's one or two to the left there that start throwing poison and stuff at you. Just very unneighborly behavior. This guy is going to get sniped in the face. Never knew, never had a chance. There's dogs over there. Stuff at me. Yep, I'll we'll have to ambush him. Man, that's one tough dog. He got shot right in the butt. Another dog. There's an Iron Maiden up there, and I'm going to fight her on my own terms. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I want to come around to here. <laughs> I'm being roasted. Let's see, do we see the uh, snake guy around? 
I just know from Murphy's Law, he is probably going to assassinate me. I'm not looking, won't see him. Let me see if this will reach. That's killing, killing somebody. Oh, that was a snake guy. Alright, let's see what this is going to offer me. That's getting him. He is just striding through it without a care in the world. Good effort, brother. I do a uh, kidney stone extraction for free, free of charge. All right, let's see what else is over here. Oh, there should be dogs around here somewhere. Mother well, grabber. Start getting him. Man, his cops are so brutal. Should be one more. All right, so this up here is really the best seal in the game. It gets the best buff, but you gotta have a lot of faith to use it, so I won't be using it. And there's your dog. Oh, the sun would shot him right in the face. How humorous. Alright, so we, we were here before, in our other, when we came across there. Just for a sense of right, I'm going to uh, kill those two guys. Well, I'm, I can't see the other one. Well, anyway. Oh, wait, maybe I can't. Got him. Alright. We're not going to try to get that thing again because... I don't even know what that is down there on that stoop. But I, most of the time... Every, just about every time I fail, I tried, I failed. But I've gotten it before. I don't... It never struck me as anything that, that was that great. So we'll have an Iron Maiden starting down behind us here shortly. Oh, shit. So many times I try to do this, when I do this I actually have a uh, compatriot with me, you know, uh, a, uh, summon but uh, this playthrough I'm trying not to use uh, spirit ashes as much as I can avoid it okay and I don't think I need the sniping as 
respect anymore. I am going to change this back to that. Just earn back a little bit of HP. So we can get down there. Don't really remember what's down there, but you know what? I'm going to actually change this to that so I can actually um, get my health back. I don't suppose there's anything up in this area. All right. These poor guys. What a miserable life. I think I'm actually doing them a favor. They, they just, they're just stuck up there. These guys are changing the floor. Poor guys. I think I can get to that other place from up here. Where you can drop down to it. Take two shots with that, okay. I'm about to run in a whole mess of them up here. I can't target him. Those things came at me. My butthole would absolutely just pucker. I mean, good lord, that, that those things are so scary. They'd be so scary in real life. I guess a lot of the stuff in here would be scary in real life, but you know, their visceral grunting and the way they charge at you in all fours. There's another one hiding there, and I can't target him. If I was allowed melee, I'd just go for and slap his face with a sword. Alright, so while I'm finishing this up, let me cover... Uh, the Free Time Creators Collective. Which is a group of uh, content makers that I'm a part of. And we're just, uh, s not in the world. And, uh, we're just smaller channels that, uh, do gameplay. Some of us do voiceover, some of us don't, some of us are on camera, some of us aren't. And, uh, we support each other and, and uh, appreciate everybody 
watching and helping us grow. And I'm going to leave a in the description a uh, links to everybody to their channel, so you can give them a look and you know see what you like. There's all different sorts of types and play and uh, types of play, types of recording, you know, uh, just all just different personalities, you know. And it's uh, you're, you're really a fun time. I appreciate if you look at those channels and you know give them a look. Are you are you sleepy? Are you going to get up and get me? No. Okay. There's Grace in here. And we'll get this going. So if you would give that a look, those channels and got uh, all sorts of cheese from uh, to name a few. You have Mindless Meat, I'm Not Great, as a wife, Plumberry Delicious, and um, you know, Iris and Ophris, uh, Holly's Adventures. I'm sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop down from up here. Um, Big Baby J, you know, he's one. Um, Danny Shades Gaming. You got, um, I'll probably leave people out because I'm doing this from memory, but. Uh, Belmont Bruno is another one. K Dog's Kennel, I think I may have mentioned him already. But anyway, just give them a look, see what you think. And I would really appreciate that. And then I'm gonna go up this ladder. To see what I can find up here. And then drop down to another part where there's treasure, but probably treasure I can't use. But since this is my first, um, wait, how did I get up there? This is my first new game plus. Huh. I, don't, I don't really know how to get up there. Just to be sure, I'm going to put on a talisman. I don't think this is too far. Actually, I don't even know if I needed the talisman. So this is uh, this is kind of funny. I've I've done my outro already. <laughs> like, oh crap! It's one of these guys, and I keep playing. So I'm doing this because I think I think I've got to um, get. I've got to use a. Uh, I gotta warp to another place. Yeah, I haven't been down here with this character. Albanaric mask and Albanaric staff. Woop -de toot toot. Great omen killer cleaver. Let's see what's. There's the stairs. Aha! Here's how I get to that other item. So anyway, yeah, I've done the outro already, and I um, am still talking and doing stuff. That's the thing about this game—you want to, you want to, uh, 
keep playing and just get that one last thing and uh, what happens is you know like I try to have my videos be between 15 minutes to 30 minutes so we're not doing bad but um, that's not too far is it nope so um, So I do my outro I'm supposed to, and, and then I just keep talking and doing stuff. But that is the nature of this game. All right. Well, I've been, I have introduced you to the uh, Free Time Creators Collective, and on this video, I would ask how close am I doing that? I would ask that you uh, leave a like subscribe if you'd like and um, send comments. I really enjoy getting the comments, like reading them, going through them, engage with everybody. Really appreciate that. And I appreciate you watching the video. And as long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. Thanks.